So welcome everyone to the June 28th meeting of the Montpelier Planning Commission. First thing we do is approve the agenda. If uh, people could take a look. We, we don't have the minutes, but that's fine. It's on the agenda. We just have to skip that. Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? I move to approve the agenda. Okay. I'll, I'll second. Okay. Motion by Ariane, second by Barb. Those in favor of approving the agenda say aye. 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 Okay. Agenda approved. Next thing we have is comments from the chair. Um, uh, nothing planning commission related as occurred that I'm aware of. I should probably let everyone know that um, I will not be present for our first meeting in August. So if you're able to cover Aaron, let me know. And if not, we'll figure out something else. But uh, Hello? So that's going to be a few away. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, sorry. My microphone wasn't working. I'm back. Ignore me. Okay. Uh, I'm also out that week, Kirby. I don't know if others will be, but just if we're gonna take, make sure we have a group, a big enough group, I will be gone that week. Okay. Well, I mean, if we don't, if we don't have a quorum, there's always stuff people can do, and we can just hold off on voting for anything. Is that August ninth? That sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also gonna be gone that week too. <laughs> Okay. So we can sort that out um, in a couple meetings from now, what we plan to do that week. We'll probably also sort out around then if we want to do anything different for in-person meetings. But uh, I don't have any more comments, which brings yeah, so us to... Oh, go ahead, Mike. I can just jump in real quick just to go through and say, you know, for people who are watching this either on Orca or online, um, as you'll see, we also now have uh, a public option, which you'll see, um, which we had agreed to. We're going to continue to meet by Zoom uh, because it's the most convenient for everybody to be able to meet this way. But um, as per state law, there is now a public option. So City Hall, um, the the doors, the back doors will be open in order for people to access the city council chambers to participate in this meeting. If somebody can't, for some reason, participate um, online or wants to come in, there is a computer terminal set up with a, um, with a video so you can watch and participate from the city council chambers. So that's the way this will work going forward. It's a pretty easy, straightforward system. So I just wanted to let people know that's now an option. Yeah, thanks, Mike. So people can stop by city council chambers or they can go online. There's two ways to access the planning commission if you want to participate. And speaking of, the next uh, item on the agenda is to hear from the public. And we do have a visitor um, coming in online here. So I'd like to ask uh, uh, the person whose name is Peter Kelman, if they would like to participate, um, if they'd like to talk about something that's not on the agenda, uh, now's the time. Uh, no, I'm just observing. Thank you. Okay, great. Well, welcome. Okay. So, uh, so that's the general business. Uh, the next week, uh, supposed to consider the minutes those those aren't ready so we'll we'll be considering the june 14 minutes at a, a later meeting uh which brings us to uh wrapping up the energy chapter on our agenda uh so mike can you tell us 
uh, where we left off there. All right. When we left last time, I think my notes had that we had gotten through on the chapter part, we had gotten all the way through until the implementation, the discussion of aspirations, goals, and strategies. Um, I don't know if we individually want to pull it up. I better pull it up so Peter would also have an access to it. Just take me a second. Here to share screen. So can everyone see that now? Yeah, yes. I can see it. All right. Let's see if I can. So we got down through to here where we were talking about um, the aspirations and goals. So this was the, uh, so I went through and moved the other ones and replaced it with the existing, this is what we had approved as our aspiration. Montpelier will be a net zero city by 2030 for municipal operations operations in 2050 community-wide. So um, this was, and I see a couple of comments have been added where we had gotten to at the last meeting. So we still had to go through these two sections. Um, so. Okay, let's do it. I'll, uh, I'll start reading through and, and tackling, we can tackle the comments as they come and people can speak up. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll read from your version, Mike, instead of pulling it up myself. Uh, so as Mike just said, he put the, the, we've reduced this to one overall aspiration, uh, and, uh, by combining things, basically, we haven't take anything out as far as what the aspirations were like coming from the energy committee, but, uh, so the, the one aspiration here is Montpelier will be a net zero city by 2030 for municipal operations and 2050 community-wide. Community the aspiration of this plan is bold and envisions transformation of current ways of living and working. This requires a detailed net zero implementation plan. How can we explain the difference between this and the information strategies we are including here? Uh, was that your comment, Mike? No, I believe that was Barb. Uh, okay, so so this entire this entire comment is Barb's. Um, uh, what are you thinking, Barb? Well, um, now I'm trying to figure out when I last is this what actually shows up um, under our tab for. I'm not finding this particular version, but anyway, um, I think that the implementation plan is what we were going to contract for. Um, from a consultant. And so that's why it's different than the implementation strategies included here. So I don't think that question was necessarily mine, um, but there's no sort of indication that we're going to be contracting this out for the implementation plan. And what is the status of that, Mike? Oh. Um. As far as I know, they put out an RFP and they've signed a contract with somebody who, who is doing the work to come up with the 2030 portion. So how are we going to, what are the details 
of how we get to net zero. So um, what we've had so far has been a lot of general points. Um, you know, for example, we have to, you know, get uh, convert to um, a biodiesel or something like that. So there's some a lot of general things, but there hasn't been the specific discussion, which is what they're looking at in this net zero implementation plan. So and that's specifically for, for much, yeah. How much is it going to cost to buy a biodiesel snowplow? How much is it going to cost to buy a biodiesel or electric fire engine? Um, and then being able to plug those numbers into our um, equipment plan, capital equipment plan, so we can start budgeting to make these purchases. Um, because right now what we have is a general idea that we need to do this, but we haven't really put any numbers to what that's going to actually um, cost to do. So specifically, so, we're talking about this detailed net zero implementation plan being for municipal only. Um, this, this first one is yes. Right. Okay. And yes. Okay. I think somehow if we can indicate that because the, the aspiration here says also includes the in a, uh, community wide. So, um, Whereas this uh, net zero implementation plan is specifically talking about municipal operations. So I think the first question is: Do we do we need to mention this? What the what the city's doing right now to find out about costs, or is that kind of implied in the plan? Like, do we do we need to call that out specifically? Uh, like, what do you think, Mike? Well, this section of what we're talking about, so this is part of the text or part of the chapter that would be, in this case, part of the, the web page of, um, of the plan. And so it's really meant to give people an introduction to what our aspirations and goals are. So probably getting into the specifics of that would probably be in the section that will come just after this when we talk about the outline of our implementation approaches, um, because that gets a little bit more specific. But again, if somebody is looking for the details, they would probably be looking at our implementation strategy. This is really meant to help people. Um, again, our chapter is meant to be 1,000 to 1,500 words where people can get a bite-sized understanding of what our energy plan is. You know, what is it that we want to do? And what is it, um, you know, what are the challenges and uh, what's our general strategy for getting there? Okay, is that okay with you, Barb? If we if we mention this, but we mention it down in the details below. And well, I suppose so, but I think we should be specific about this. Requires a detailed net zero municipal implementation plan because this is specifically only for municipal operations. Okay. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should not have this here. Like the the sentence that's in red for me here. Like, just don't have that up in the intro. We'll just have it down in the details. Okay, as okay. long as it's clear that it's only for municipal. And, yeah. yeah, I got you there, and I, and I agree. And it will if it's in the section that's that's devoted to the municipal part, then that would. Yeah. Help. Um, so, okay, so I'll keep going. This implementation plan that's being referenced here, uh, is that the, is that referencing what we just deleted, Mike? Or, because we do have a little bit of problem with terminology, maybe. I think in this case, this is referring to the implementation strategy or the implementation plan as part of this, this document. So would it be better to say something like the city plans implementation strategy talks about the goals that are needed or? Yeah, I mean, we can reword Uh, 
um, the city plans uh, implementation strategies, instead of talk about, we say address. And you can delete we that's after strategies there. Oh, then I'd have to change that to the. Yeah. Assets or goals that are needed to achieve those metrics in the context of the plan. Uh, instead of saying those aspirations, we should say this aspiration because it's singular now. Okay, I'll Shell. keep reading. <clears throat> oh, do you have a question, Barb? I'm just trying to, since my screen is worked on some other part of this, can you just uh, scroll down? I'm trying to see if these goals are specific to municipal or... They're, they're all the goals. It's all the goals we all the have goals. in the okay. strategy. So these are not specific to what was just addressed above. Okay. No, but, but, but we, I think we, we tried to make sure that the goals were wait. specific enough where you can tell what, what they're referring to. Yeah, there's witty Odie talking. There's one, we have eight goals. We have one aspiration. This is all we're talking about. I don't know what. Yeah. I'm confused. These goals one, are what we're talking about. Right, just one aspir. What, and so we only have one aspiration now. Correct, yeah. And that it is, aspiration. It, 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 is. I think some of the some of the confusion comes from the fact that our aspiration does have two parts. It's a city government goal by 2030 and then a uh, you know city wide outside of the government goal by 2050. And so the first four goals here refer to the municipal portions and five through eight refer to the city wide portion. Okay, let's uh, scroll up and keep going. Uh, so the city plans implementation strategies will address the goals that are needed to achieve this aspiration in the context of whether they will be maintaining, evolving, or transforming the current conditions. Um, I, I don't know how much time I want to spend on wordsmithing, but I think we could do better than the, the end of that sentence, but I'll, I'll, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, bold aspirations require big new programs and projects to bring up the degree of change necessary for us to feel good about our chances of achieving them. Okay, so that's that's just the intro, and then it goes down to the goals. And uh, I don't recall everyone who missed last meeting, but um, this is what we landed on last meeting for the goals. So there was some rearranging and restructuring. We mostly just consolidated. There were instances where we consolidated a few goals into one goal uh that captured everything that was there before the idea was to streamline it to make it more readable easy easily more easier or more easier easier for people to understand um so so this is what we have now i don't think we took anything out i don't recall taking anything out yeah, so these also okay. usually aren't in the written text so these will be just here for reference for our conversation um is there a definition prior to this about what net zero means in this context since it's a it's a moving target it has did, a lot of about, yeah we did talk about that and we wanted to make sure that that was defined and clear um is it further up in the chapter where we do that oh man I don't remember seeing it. I'd have to go back and. Um, let's, uh, 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure that the chapter at the beginning defines note zero. Um, I'll find it in the, if other people want to join in and help. Yeah, okay, so further up it says, in February 2014, MEAC recommended the city adopted a citywide goal of net zero Montpelier. In short, this means that the city is committed to becoming the first state capital to produce or offset all of its energy needs, electric, thermal, and transportation from renewable energy sources, and it has set the target date to meet this goal at 2030. This was further expanded and clarified in October 2018 with the adopted city council goal that Montpelier will become the first 100% renewable energy capital city and eliminate all fossil fuel use with the following deadlines. And then it has the 2030 and the 2050 deadlines. 2030 deadline, 100% of energy use for municipal government operations will be renewable or offset. By 2050, fossil fuel use will be eliminated entirely at 100% of energy needs municipal, residential, and commercial will be met renewably. So it's the Excuse third me. paragraph of the chapter. Where are you, Kirby? I'm uh, try I'm on the uh, menu trying to find the right. So energy I, plant. It's the doc it's document we're looking at right now. It's the, the written chapter part. It's the third paragraph. That's what I just read. The one with PC BC comments, huh? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's the one with the bullet points afterwards. So I just read that paragraph and the bullet points. So that's, that's where we define it. interesting that um our 2050 goal does not say renewably or offset so by 2050 we're not allowing for any offsets then okay and yeah i mean my understanding based on on what's written here is that th that's what city council adopted Right, Mike? Yes. So, I mean. Okay, but why does 2030 say that they could be renewable or offset, whereas 2050, um, everything has to be, no. just, pardon me? It's a, I, guess, I mean, I take it as a stepping stone that, that we can do biodiesel or whatever, or no, well, that's not an offset, but we can use offsets up until 2050. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get through it. Oh. Um, so, yep, so those are their goals. Uh, Mike, you said you're not going to leave that table of goals in? We haven't in the other chapters. I mean, it's up okay. to us how we structure these. Okay. No, thanks for putting that in, though. That, that was helpful. Um, okay, uh, so continuing on, broadly speaking, this aspiration has goals to examine how to use less energy, i.e. energy conservation, and how to switch the remaining energy that we currently use to renewable options. Careful look at the goals in the implementation plan shows that some of these are easier to implement locally, while some may need to wait for future national changes to technology. For example, Green Mountain Power, GMP, is the power utility that provides electricity for the whole of Montpelier, and GMP is already committed to being 100% carbon-free by 2025 and 100% renewable by 2030. Making city government and the, public net, and the public net zero with respect to electricity is therefore simple, provided GMP meets its commitments. Um, let's... So instead of public, I think we should probably say the the rest of the city to, to avoid confusion. 
And haven't we capitalized net zero everywhere else? I think only with respect to the plan, net zero as a thing in okay. itself oughtn't to be capitalized. And I mean, while we're while we're wordsmithing this, let's go ahead and make it an active sentence. So instead of saying making city government, let's say uh, it may, it, yeah, take making out and just say it may be simple to. Say the city government is poised to meet its net zero requirements by 2025, uh, provided the GMP meets its commitments. That's good. By 2030. Yeah, you can just, you can just. Uh, do we want to mention the rest of the city? The city government is forced to meet its net zero commitments by the net zero. I, I would say uh, the city will meet its net zero goals provided GMP meets its commitments. So then, if we're I mean, working this off is, this is relating to electricity, though, right? I mean, I, I feel like yes. we need to specify that it's not all the goals. But you, after goal, it says yeah, you, it, you do that. Electricity it, goal is good. Electrical, electricity, electrical. Yeah, is that not? Okay. Um, so the comment in red is just that a comment. I don't know if we want to address it or not, but we're our electrical demands are going to go up significantly. And we don't know if so we're assuming that GMP will have that capacity. I mean, if they I don't, don't think have, it's, I don't think it's something worth. I don't think it's something worth speculating about in the plan. I just question whether or not we should bring up bring it up as a question to flag people yeah. that we no. can't just keep drawing on GMP. No, we we can't we can't speak for what GMP may or may not do with respect to the city. So we just need to note I that. Just, I would just I would I would just delete it. We just well, I think, I think we need it, to note that our demand is going to go up significantly. It, it's it's partly covered because we just said provided GMP meets its commitments. So we already, I think we already noted that we're relying on GMP to to, to provide everything. <laughs> I mean, there's no question that GMP will meet whatever electric demand the city has. Oh, I'm not sure I agree, but hopefully uh, they will. Hopefully they will. Um, they absolutely okay. will. Because once we get into um, heating with heat pumps, our electrical consumption is going to go a lot higher. And the but grid is anyway. robust enough to meet that demand. I, I, it's not worth speculating about in the plan. I, I would know Aaron used to work for public um, public service. Okay, um, certainly wouldn't be st true statewide, but if you feel confident that we have it here, um, that's fine. And I think the point of what this paragraph was supposed to be just looking at is that there are going to be pieces of this that are going to be easier and pieces of this that are going to be harder, and that's what mm -hmm. is trying to be discussed in this is that 
Um, we're going to have pieces of this like meeting our electricity goals that are going to be relatively easy. And then there are going to be pieces which come up in the next sentence. On the other hand, transitioning to fossil fuel for transportation will require market shifts in technology and affordability nationwide for vehicles, especially heavy equipment. Um, so there are things that, that are easier for us to do locally, and there are some things that are going to be more difficult for us to do because we have to rely on national changes in technology. You know, where the city of Montpelier is not going to be creating electric vehicles. Right, or we have to be relying on GMP to provide the power. Uh, so my only question about the next sentence, uh, Mike just read it. On the other hand, transitioning to a non-fossil fuel future for transportation will, among other things, require market shifts in technology and affordability nationwide for new vehicles, especially heavy equipment. Uh, do we need to say market shifts or just say shifts? I, I, I worry that market could be, could throw people off there. I don't understand why we need the sentence at all. Well, it's, I mean, it, it plays off of the sentence before, because Mike was saying that the overall point is to say some will be simple and some will be hard. So he gives an example of simple, then he gives an example of hard. Yeah. I mean, comparing tra transportation challenges to electrical goals seems worthwhile. Does everyone does everyone think that it's it's not it, it's understandable when it says market shifts in technology? You think that yeah, regular readers can get that? Yeah, market can come out. Is, is, is what you're is what the sentence is the sentence trying to just say that adoption of electric vehicles will, is dependent on um, market national market penetration or something like that? So I, think that, I think this goes back to the first sentence. A careful look at the goals of the implementation plan shows that some of these are easier to implement locally, while some will need to wait for future national changes to, to technology. And then there's a discussion of the Green Mountain Power as something that's easy for us to implement locally because of their the commitment of our power company. Um, and this was meant to be an example of how we may need to wait for national changes to technology in order to achieve some of our other goals. Yeah, and that seems worthwhile. I just don't understand what market, what you're referring to is say requiring market shifts in, in technology and affordability. Are we talking about like the adoption, the widespread adoption of electric vehicles? Are we talking about the rollout of charging stations like I, I just don't understand what we're talking about i mean it looks like it's i don't understand what market shifts in technology is referring to well we can take the market well, out the shifts in technology um, some of these i mean we may have some pieces of this currently but let's talk about um if we want to have um electric fire engines i think there are currently like three of them in the united states um, you know, there's going to be a shift. We're going to need a shift in technology and affordability in order for us to, to talk about, um, you know, and, and how are we going to and what options are available for, uh, you know, snow plows and, you know, certain, certain equipment, certain things have come along from a technology standpoint. So that, that, make, that makes, can I, can I recommend and say something like, on the other hand, like, um, uh, adapting like electrification of um unique uh like city vehicles such as fire engines and snow plows require um you know further changes in technology to be feasible um you know in montpelier or something like that what specifically is the problem in your mind with this sentence as it's now written it, it doesn't say anything <laughs> It, it does require a lot of knowledge from the reader to put it together. I, I think Mike just did a very good job of articulating what he really means. It's just like, if we want an electrified, if we want an electric fire engine or an electric snowplow, 
you know, we're going to have to wait for that technology to trickle. You know, there needs to be broader national implementation of those technologies, market penetration of those technologies before we're going to get that stuff. So we have to just wait for that to occur. And I think we just say, we can just say that, like, look, if we just want to have like a, you know, certain certain vehicles that aren't aren't available now, we can, you know, let the let the technology catch up and there'll be market penetration and we can capitalize on that later. Looks like Peter has his hand up, I think. If I, if I could just jump in here for a minute, um, this is actually a, a very important point and it's not just about technology, it's also about public policy. Um, it's also about um, changes in the economy. I just, I'll just give you an example. Uh, in Northern Europe, um, they, they, there are hydronic heating systems for homes. The technology exists but it doesn't exist very much in the United States outside of large uh, facilities. If, if we really, one of the, the largest areas, if, when we're not talking about city government, uh, uh, city, um, but, but residential, is converting our oil-based heating systems. We can't do that until there's an infrastructure. It's, it's more than technology. It's an infrastructure for that technology. Installers, people who will do that work. And I think it is really quite important to make some kind of a statement that uh, uh, about this to, to let people know we can't do this by ourselves. It's it's going to be part of a national change. Uh, yeah. So uh, thanks, Peter, for that. And uh, that is what we're trying to to get at here. Um, a lot of our discussions are about just making sure that the plan's fluid and people can follow along. But um, I, we hope that within the plan, with the goals and the strategies and everything, that they, that we're getting at everything you're talking about. OK. Are you making those changes, Mike? Yeah, I'm trying to capture what yeah. um, Aaron had proposed. Uh, so let me know how close I've been getting. We'll become. So where are we at, Aaron? Uh, hold on, I'm just reading it right now. Okay, change become to require, right? will require those items to become more affordable and more widely implemented. More affordable and... Can I take, right. a, quick, can I take a quick stab at it? Real quick? I, think I've, I think I've had a solution. Give me a second. Let me fill it in just a second. And let me know if this works for you guys. So while Aaron's doing that, um, we we are taking a bit long on the chapters. I, I, I'm going to say that I, I will try to pre-edit these from now on each week. I think that might be just the most efficient. Um, and then it'd be easier, if, you know, to go through and, and Korea, one I have a thought about the chapters. Um, so I I went through not well in advance, but I in advance I did go through this chapter and edit, make edits to it, both last time and this time. And part of what I found challenging was that sometimes I didn't know if something was important or relevant still after we had gone through and changed, just given that some of this stuff is kind of well out of my wheelhouse. And I wonder if 
there's worth like it's worth our time in these meetings to try to have a discussion about like what is it that we want to focus on in the chapters what types of things do we need to say and what types of like like points like this one that we were talking about about the role of things outside of our control like that's an important point is it worth having some group conversation about what we want to highlight in the chapters and then having and then going through with you know everybody spending time on their own going through and editing outside of these meetings but i just wonder i basically i'm just saying <laughs> when i went through and edited i found it a little challenging because i wasn't sure what what things were still relevant or what things were really important to highlight um just given that some of this is out of my wheelhouse does that make sense? Yeah. So, so what I'm thinking is, I mean, Mike has already laid down what he thinks is important to include. So, so we we have that for Mike, and that's what this is. If 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 I were to go through it, I would uh, just rephrase things for for clarity. Um, like like a lot of what we're doing is just rephrasing things for clarity. So so I would want to do that ahead of time so that the group's not spending time on that, and it's spending more time on like what you're talking about, which is bigger bigger questions of like well have we mentioned this thing or that thing or is it important to mention this thing uh so so that's what i'm talking about and um i would say like i mean if you if you are reviewing a chapter again like individually then feel free to just really go at it uh it's not a matter of what do i cut or not like i i, I probably wouldn't go through it with the mind of cutting anything i would just go through it with the mind of um rephrasing for clarity. I think the thing that we're doing right now is a perfect example. Like we don't, we didn't, we don't need to be trying to come up with a sentence right now. Um, we could have done that ahead of time. Uh, what's up, Barb? Af after this, I want to go on. Yeah. I'm just, um, wondering if, if we need to go through this, as you said, line by line. Um, and, um, I mean, are you suggesting Kirby that a smaller group get together to, um, uh, to uh, edit, um, or I guess I'm I'm not sure certain what you're suggesting about this, because it would be nice but, to have some other process other than us having to go through it line by line. But for me, for 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 housing uh, uh, preservation or, or historic preservation, you know, I, I went through it and I made a bunch of edits ahead of time. Um, we implemented those, and then our discussion was a lot quicker. That's all. Yeah, it's just a lot simpler. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely not suggesting adding any bureaucracy or anything. I'm just saying, and I, I'm. I'm just volunteering to do it. I'll just. I'll try to do that from now on, and then. And then hopefully we'll. We will get through these quicker. It's important to go through it line, line by line, though, because I mean, this is like the the main meat of our work on this. So, and and now the time for people to talk about things that are missing or, or mm -hmm. policy things that that we need to talk about. Okay, uh, so where were we? We have Aaron's sentence. On the other hand, a broader national adoption of emerging technologies will be required before the city is able to transition to a non-fossil fuel future for certain unique items such as electric fire trucks and snow plows. Works for me. I think it, sure. it, it conveys the point of the paragraph and um, is clear about that. It's good for me. Good for you, Mike? Yes. Okay. Let's keep going. I think there had been a, a paragraph which I had made a note on that said I didn't know if we needed it because originally we didn't, you know, we had six aspirations and now we're down to one. So to talk about the different aspirations didn't seem to make a lot of sense. So um, I suggested striking. It looked like somebody struck it. So. Okay, that's that's fine with me. So is that mentioned elsewhere than what the city has already accomplished? Yeah, it is. And anywhere where it said, as mentioned previously, as already discussed, I pretty much deleted all of that because it's not necessary and it's, it's too short. It needs to be too short of a document to have to repeat ourselves that way. Right, yeah, just as long as it still exists where it previously was. Uh, um okay yeah like 
I'm not seeing anything cut there that, that I feel is crucial. Uh, while we have made excellent progress, we still have some, let's put a comma in after progress. Uh, we still have some significant needs, especially in the trans transition of municipal equipment and vehicles to renewables, which, and again, a comment before which, or comma, I mean, before which, will be necessary to reach the 2030 aspiration. Necessary to reach. The, uh, I mean, I, I guess 2030 aspiration is, is fine. So that's like a sub part of the aspiration, but um, everything from weed whackers and lawnmowers to snow plows and fire trucks. Additionally, the weatherization and conversion to renewables for the remaining buildings, not on district heat will be needed. All of these municipal goals will be the priority for the next eight years as the period of this plan will take us to the 2030 deadline. Additionally, the city cannot wait until 2030 to start transitioning the private buildings off of fossil fuels. With thousands of homes and apartments and the long lifespans of those systems, these systems, uh, home heating conversions will take many years. I mean, that's a good, I think that's a good point to make, Mike. Good. Starting work on these goals will also therefore be a priority for the next eight years. So I think that goes to partially what Barb was saying earlier. Uh, okay. And then outline of implement, uh, before we move on, I guess I should stop mm. and say, is there, is there anything that, that people think we've left out of the description of the aspiration? That, like, like, Barb, you had mentioned some concerns earlier that, um, like mentioning the the implementation plan that the city's having done? Um, or is that yeah, better I'm for not sure. I don't think it fits here. Yeah, may fit okay. in down, down farther. Okay. Uh, the Montpelier Energy Advisory Committee has been doing much of the heavy lifting for implementation over the past decade. Hey, on, yes. on this section, sorry to interrupt you. I. Mm -hmm. I was, so this was an instance where I was really having a hard time understanding why um, the Montpelier Advisory Committee and the position were necessary to be written in here. I didn't, that was like kind of the first I'd heard of it, I think, unless I'm forgetting something. So I just <laughs> put a paragraph and a sentence at the bottom and thought that was my offer for this entire section. Um, and maybe we, we can do what we want with that. but. There was a lot in this section where I was just like, I don't see how the, like, I'm looking at the implementation plans, I'm looking at this section, I don't see how they go together. I'm not going to try to line edit it. I'm just going to start over with what I think the point was of this section. Can we scroll back up to, so you're suggesting taking out, outline the implementation approaches, basically all of that. My paragraph at the bottom, which is in green on my sheet, oh. maybe, I suggested that be replaced, replace everything else in this section. Because I don't, I don't understand why we're talking about MIAC and I don't understand why we're talking about a hiring a position. Um, I put a comment in there to be like, is this still relevant? And, um, so in just, our other chapters, yeah. we've we've had sections about what has been done up until now, and but that's that's, a, what, that's higher up. Is that higher up? But we've already done that. Yeah, for the... yeah. Summary of past efforts. We already did that. Okay. Okay. I mean, we didn't okay. do that. But no. It's there. <laughs> it, it, there's a few things missing. <laughs> so, okay. Well, we know that that's going to be covered. That's good. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. There, yeah, I mean, this section is kind of folksy, maybe. Um, can you scroll back down to the beginning of that section? Oh, oh up to this part? Oh, uh, thank, sorry, up, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I guess it's really not necessary to mention the committee except that they are the only ones who have been pushing for it um 
and they did create the I think the revolving loan fund for energy projects is an important element to um, mention somewhere if it's not here yeah um, but this section is supposed to just be talking about the strategies which are going to be listed elsewhere so it's just a summary of the strategies right I mean anything else ought to go somewhere else in this well, one of the strategies it was the revolving revolving loan fund in order but to it's get not the, any it's not anymore or at least unless it's in one of the strategies that's listed then collapsed into yeah so it's confusing to pull out small parts of something that's been collapsed when the thing that people are going to be looking at doesn't have that called out if that makes sense i don't want to we have to either call it out in both places or so we do no. mention the, the creation of the revolving loan fund somewhere, right? I guess it's in the first municipal building effic efficiency initiative. As long as it's still there. But all, I mean, it's just, it's just in a list. Once in place, the actions identified will be implemented through the annual capital improvement plan, the net zero revolving loan fund, and the capital equipment plan. So. Sure. Um, there was, I mean, I actually brought this question up and sent it to Mike earlier. When we get down to the full-time energy coordinator position, um, that was something that was supposed to go forward, and I, it's not clear to me what happened to it. What happened to our energy coordinator position? Uh, the yeah. funds got split out in, in public works um, when Donna Barlow Casey was hired. There was a reshuffling of positions, and so she was basically. We were basically the intent was to break out the facilities to take it away from the DPW director and create a standalone facilities director. And then, when Donna was hired, it was reabsorbed back into the director position. So the result was we didn't end up getting a um, energy coordinator. Although I As thought that that I thought the money for that position was authorized at one point. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's let's read Marcella's alternative and see if it's people just, are happy with this. Yeah, it's just it. real high level. Yeah. So, so it, it's, what's that? I was just going to say that that's somewhat what we want. Um, I, I I think I had pointed out the last time we were reviewing this that I thought you know we were ultimately too long. This doesn't have the number of words in it, um, but we did need to kind of shorten things down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, thank you, Marcella. This is wonderful. I don't want that to to go and said. Uh, so implementation, with this suite of implementation strategies, Montpelier aims to achieve its energy goals for the next eight years. These implementation strategies target energy efficiency and tracking fuel source switching and ensuring proper infrastructure and planning to support uh, fuel source uh, switching. Uh, some of the strategies build upon existing efforts. For example, making the investment to meter the fire station for district heat takes advantage of an existing energy efficient resource and improves our ability to track and plan for future energy efficiencies. Other strategies implement new programs aimed at supporting our goals. For example, the two new fuel switching initiatives, municipal and residential and commercial, will require Montpelier to find alternative fuel sources for various energy needs. The Net Zero 2030 implementation plan will play a significant role in identifying where and how to move forward with these implementation strategies. Uh, I, so I, I didn't think we could wait. add to that. I was trying to pull out parts that seemed relevant still from the above few paragraphs, but that was as far as I got. Well, we need to keep in mind that the 2030 implementation plan is strictly municipal. And so if we're going to mix in um, the uh, residential commercial it uh because tw residential commercial is 2050 so it's a whole different animal thanks but, um, but i mean that this this document already states that we need to get started on that right but our goals for the uh residential commercial are for 2050 not for 2030 um 
but anyway, I, it's, to my mind, it's a little clearer if we can keep municipal separated from the residential commercial, um, just because the deadlines are so significantly different. The 20 year deadline difference. So it, it, most of this paragraph is talking about municipal. I think that's because most of our strategies are municipal. There's really right. only two, there's really only two residential and commercial strategies. I think. Unless the reduced vehicle miles traveled is both. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of both. perhaps, perhaps it's just the following paragraph that um, I have a problem with because by saying the net zero 2030 implementation plan, it seems to incorporate everything that was mentioned in the paragraph above. And it does not, it should not include residential commercial. So um, do you want to just, do you want to specify, specify that the net zero 2030 information plan is for municipal operations? Like, so add in the words for municipal operations, would that help you? Like, so that people aren't misled? Well, so maybe it just shouldn't, is, is, that is the last sentence in the, Maybe it just shouldn't be a different, a separate paragraph as it looks like it is now. Um, Honestly, it didn't, I didn't think we were done. I mean, I think I was pulling, you know, there are other things that are in the above paragraphs that aren't reflected here. And I wasn't sure if those things were important or not. So I, we can add um, to help round this out, or we can just stuff that sentence back into the one paragraph. What do people think? Do we want to try to pull more from above? Like, uh, do we feel like we're missing anything from the above? Can we take a take a second to look. I'm really struggling here because I can't see the whole document. Um, let me see if I can. Do you have yeah. access to the drive? Yeah. Let me see if I can get back to it. Pull up, pull up. It's it's energy plan chapter BC comments. So it's it was yeah. No, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But what I have, what do I have the most recent? Here we go. There's a sentence that says the highest priority at this point is completing the net zero 2030 implementation plan. So we know what improvements are needed. So it sounds like that plan is going to kind of give us a roadmap, which was what I was aiming at with that last sentence. Um, it's, it's mentioned in here multiple times. So it seemed like we needed to bring that down. Yeah, except for the net zero 2030 implementation plan is municipal only. So. Yeah, I switched that. So the net zero 2030 implementation plan will play a significant role in identifying how, where and how to move forward with our municipal implementation strategies. And then do we have like a parallel sentence for the key tools for how to get residents and businesses to be net zero, have not been fully developed, will be developed as part of the net zero implementation plan called for in this plan. I don't understand that sentence. So Sorry. Which one did you, were you just reading? Um, on the final page of the document, um, just the one your cursor is over, Mike, up one more paragraph. Um, right there, the key tools for how to get, so I'm trying to think of what's a parallel sentence we could add to talk about how we're going to get toward meeting those how we're going to start those strategies that are aimed at residents and commercial residential and commercial properties. 
but I don't know yeah. what will be developed as part of the net zero implementation plan called for in this plan. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, those are significantly different than the um, than the ones we might be calling for municipally. So that's that's fine. I'm not trying to talk about municipal. I want to talk. I just artfully, I think it would be nice to say, okay, here's the implementation strategies. Some of them, like I'm kind of creating like a very simple pattern here. So like, for example, some of them are going to build upon existing efforts. Others are going to make new efforts. And then I'm the net zero 2030 implementation plan will play a significant role in sort of mapping out how we're going to get to our municipal implementation strategies. And what is the parallel for our commercial and residential there is, strategies? Yeah, there is a proposed net zero 2050 plan, but that hasn't there hasn't been a discussion about developing that one yet, but we know there at some point. So we could add something like that, like a similar plan is in the works or is in early discussion phases for residential and you're understanding that that's going to be more difficult or we have less control over those residential and commercial goals. It's going to require a different set of tools. Mm -hmm. It's easier, theoretically, to do the zero 2030 because we're just dealing with our own budgets and our own things. We don't need to pass rules and regulations. We just have to adopt policies and spend more money. Conversation. So basically, there's you're saying that there's been a uh, is that this a plan has been proposed to carefully consider all the options from subsidizing energy audits, programs to match grants or loans? That's what you mean by that? Yes, those are the different policy tools. Okay, so. But Therefore, a net zero 2050 implementation or a similar net zero 2050 implementation plan would be required. will also be required. Is it too much to say it's in initial discussion phases? How about just say in the future? That, that well, we have the, the goals are identified in this plan, the, but it's just not the implementation. Mm -hmm. So is the inference here that we would wait on that implementation plan until the next time this document is written in eight years? Sorry, Barb, can you say that again? If, so basically we're saying that, um, that we're gonna wait to have a plan for residential commercial um for the next iteration of this of the city plan in eight years i don't think it i don't think it precludes or mandates anything yeah right i think it yeah i don't think we need to be that specific yeah, i think in the implementation strategy when we look at that next um it those those plans exist in that strategy, which means it is in our eight year plan. It's just gonna be a lower priority than the stuff that's happening for the 2030. Um, you know, we can't, everything can't be a high priority, otherwise it's not a strategic plan. Uh -huh. um, so what we've said is the most important things are the 2030 pieces. Um, that's not to say that becoming net zero by 2050 isn't important, but when we're being strategic about what we're, trying to accomplish, obviously our 2030 goals um, will take priority over our 2050 goals. Also, we have more control over the 2030 than we do over the 2050 because they're municipal. So I think we could and should try to develop the 2050 implementation plan, but you know, maybe we don't start working on that till 2025. And you know, once we've because you know, we don't want to take away effort from our 2030 implementations. Um, sure. 
Do we have a strategy for a 2050 implementation plan like we're talking about here? Yes, it's in the it's it's described in the implementation strategy. Okay, so so we do have that strategy. So that is something that this eight year plan is trying to do in the next eight years. Okay, um, I, I have read the sections above and I think that we've captured everything um, succinctly uh, for implementation. Does, does anyone else have any more things they'd like to include? So you're saying that this, uh, these two paragraphs would be the total of the outline of implementation? Yes, they would replace those. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I mean, of course, the, you know, the goals and strategies are the, look at the authorities on what we're doing. This is just the description. Well, it's interesting. I had passed over this before, but um, the whole question of the energy coordinator or some someone in that position, um, are we just going to leave that out? That's the only thing I'm seeing in the up in the chapter in the paragraphs above that is an important element that's maybe not included. What do you think, Mike, about, like, do we, is that something we need to, to draw attention to here? Um, I'm just looking back at the previous historic, we did talk in one sentence the city has appointed a historic preservation commission and assigned staff from the planning department to assist in the planning and implementation of the city's historic resources plan. That is the extent of it in the other plan. Um, whether we want to have a complimentary or similar statement here, just so you know, members of the public understand who is doing this. I think that would be helpful. Um, sure. So that we, if we identify this position of energy coordinator, um, or whatever we end up calling that person, um, it identifies for the public that we need somebody, and we haven't had them. Um, pretty much been relying on MIAC for the anything that's been done. So, if we want to ask for money later, we might want to clue everybody in. I don't think we can, I might be misunderstanding this, but I don't think we can put it into the discussion if it's not in the strategies. Is it in the strategies <laughs> that we're looking at there? It's this a little bit of who. Um, so the strategies don't necessarily always talk about the, the who, um, you know, like in the historic resources, we don't mention in the strategies about the HPC or mm -hmm. The, the folks, but those are the folks that are actually doing the work. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, I'm just feeling like if it's a new position or if it's like something new that we have to add, um, that feels like a little bit of a different. Yeah, I don't know how specific we can or should be, um, but mentioning that we have, you know, mentioning MEAC and mentioning that there is staff in this case, apart from the Department of Public Works. But currently, there is no staff who are acting as an energy coordinator. Um, and that position has been discussed and at one point funded, uh, but it has now disappeared. Um, I think, you know, without someone like that, we're not going to end up getting a coordinated effort. Okay, so how about we, we put in the sentence similar to the other chapter, we call out MEAC like we do with historic preservation and we say support from city staff and leave it at that. 
Um, and if we want to, if we if we want to insist upon an energy director or something, then maybe we should have the discussion of creating a strategy for that. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't I don't hate the idea of like talk. I like that we would sort of highlight who does the work, but if above it talks about you know like this is something we're going to have to invest in, and if that's the framing, I think it needs to be a strategy. And it's already been discussed as something, and in fact, uh, uh, funds were allocated for this position. I know, so, but if it doesn't exist already, I still it just still because feels it feels new. Just because it didn't get funded. Well, yeah, I mean, it well, um, but not that it isn't necessary. It just doesn't feel. Um, I guess that like we're taking this to a greater level of this whole chapter to a greater level of importance if we aren't willing to fund a position for this um, work, particularly for the city, obviously, um, and are going to continue to rely on a volunteer effort from MIAC. It, it just doesn't sit well with me. Well, I mean, Somewhere, so if we say if we say with support from city staff, which is what you know all the chapters are relying upon, not just volunteer effort. Um, but the support from city staff tends to be more in terms of uh, maybe getting advice, giving advice, or taking taking minutes. Um, it's not an active. Position. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that. Like, if we're going to, like I said before, if we're going, if we're going to try to like insist upon a position as, as something essential to the to the strategies and the goals, then we should make it a strategy. But it's already been identified. It just hasn't been funded. I think that that the fact that it's already been identified but hasn't been funded is reason to put it in as a strategy if we think it is important or necessary and even if we include it as a strategy doesn't mean the city will ever create that position <laughs> in i mean that's also right it would just like add a little more emphasis from us like if we consider these are recommendations to the city council if we don't call it out specifically then they will assume that we have adequate staffing to figure right. out. Right, right, exactly. So we need to call out that we don't have adequate staffing and that we need to um, fund that position. Yeah, we just need to do it in both places. We can't do it in the wording and not in the strategies, in the so, narrative and not in the strategies. Right. Um. Okay, so we're already talking about this. Is there interest uh, among uh, the Planning Commission to include a specific strategy for a funded energy director position or energy coordinator position? Do you want do you want to vote on that, Kirby, or just yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be like it would not no, it, it would be like a vote thing to like add a strategy. I just feel yeah. like. Am I forgetting that we talked about this before? I, I don't remember talking about this at all. I don't remember it being in the chapter, like the recommendations that came from the committee. I would feel weird voting on it. I mean, I'm hearing um, Barb say that we need it, but I don't know anything else about it. Yeah, well, I no, think because new. the committee had always thought that it was going to happen any minute. I mean, we talked about on the committee, we talked about it numerous times. Um, and in fact, at one point, it was determined that there was going to be a not full time, but at least a 0.8 time facility manager energy coordinator. And then that position disappeared. So not yeah, because it wasn't needed. Yeah. Um, so, so next, the, the next thing on the agenda is to look at strategies, right? Uh, yes. Uh, do we so want to we vote can, on vote on these or go to strategies and vote on both later? Well, since it would be included in both, that's why I kind of want to just tackle it now. Um, 
So let's just do that. Uh, do we have a motion to create a strategy for energy coordinator, a funded position? Or, or Barb, um, if you want, if you want to make it some other motion, then um, with your own phrasing. No, I think um, funded, um, but I'm not going to say that it has to be full time because they weren't willing to do full time before. But there, that a position should be funded for a um, facility man. We call them different things, but facility manager slash energy coordinator is something that I'm seeing mentioned in one place um, uh, for municipal buildings. Okay, so a, a, a position, uh, a city employee who, who assists with implementation for municipal buildings. Yes. That's what you're, that's what you're asking for strategy. Uh, do we have, was that your motion? I suppose so, yes. You want to okay. read it back to me so we all make sure I, I don't what was the beginning the of that? The, the, uh, so, so my understanding is, is uh, Barb is moving that we have a strategy specifically for a uh, city, uh, city employee who assists with the implementation of uh, implementing uh, the plan related to municipal buildings. A facility manager slash energy coordinator position. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like we need to name it. But it's like, but okay, like it's just that right that up. encompasses a lot more than, yeah. Anyway, because uh, technically we don't have a facility manager. Um, okay. So do we have a second? motion okay so so we, ha we have a second so we have discussion now um does anyone want i, I don't that, we don't even have anything drafted <laughs> we, we don't have a strategy drafted <laughs> i would urge everybody not to vote for this don't have a what drafted we, we don't have anything drafted there's nothing for us to doesn't mean it wasn't in the uh, it's been so was in the it, plan. Was it in the list before it was condensed? That's what I'm hearing. I was just doing some searching. I couldn't find it. Okay. Unless I'm so Googling this, the wrong word. I mean, we're uh, going to vote on the strategies as a set at some point. So if it's worth adding, we can add it and not vote and discuss okay. it further. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't, I just don't know enough about it, which is and energy okay. generally, which is why I've mostly been quiet, but can okay. we just put well, it in as a placeholder? Okay, let's. It's uh, fine. Do you, you want to do you uh, do you want to withdraw the motion, Barb, and, and approach it that way? I'm not sure I, how how I'm approaching it then. Uh, we'll just, as when, we're, when, we're, when we're figuring out the strategies, we'll throw it in there and then and have it have it out then. Hmm. Okay, I mean, if you're basically what you're saying is you would, I thought the feeling was that this couldn't just be a strategy, that it had to be, it had to be elevated to a position further up the chain. Um, but if it can be just done as a strategy, it's a, that's it's fine. A, it, to me, it seems like a discreet, actionable thing, just like a, appropriate as a strategy. That's true. Yes. It, okay, it, sure, it, that's it, fine. It falls under one of our municipal goals. Sure. Okay, so so you're gonna with you'll withdraw and we'll throw that in as, as things we consider for the strategies. Okay. Yeah, as long as we don't forget about it. Sure, sure. And it's, sorry if I threw people off by suggesting that. I just wanted to you know uh, get that done while we were on it. Okay, so with that, uh, do we have anything more for the for the chapter? It would be helpful just to see a clean copy of what we've got left before we have to vote on it. 
um, if this is something we are voting on. Okay, does everybody feel we're that gonna way? Vote. They, they want to look at a clean copy before we vote on passing the chapter? If we have a little bit of opportunity later down the road, once, you know, everything's done to do, I know, Mike, you said you wanted most of the chapter to be pretty much done by this point, but if we do have any opportunity later on, I would be fine voting now and and doing the fine tuning later, but I guess. Yeah, there are going to be plenty of opportunities to make additional edits down the line. We just yeah. wanted to start to move to get these things put away rather than continue to have them come back up for revote and reconsideration. If we're going to get through, you know, 12 chapters before December, you know, we can't have energy on four meetings in a row. Yeah, I think, I mean, I would say I, I am perfectly fine going with it now. We're going to have to do reconciliation later on when conflicting things come up in other chapters that we don't even know about yet. So I would just well, save that for the for later. And so can you send out a clean draft of what's left? Yeah, I'll clean it up. It'll stay on the iDrive. I'll just rename it. I was going to go through and approve all those changes, but then I would end up with a different version. So what I'll do is I'll save it under a new name. So these comments will all remain. Um, and then I'll just hit accept all changes and it'll clean it up and there'll be a probably an energy chapter final so there'll be energy the original energy chapter draft there'll be the energy bc comments and then there'll be the energy plan final and it's only meant to say final because it's just as far as we've gotten final um, obviously there are plenty of opportunities between now and adoption to make more changes to it yeah. right so if we have it with if we have the final then we could vote on that at the first at the meeting at the start of the meeting next time i think we should vote it out today i think we should not I, have it on I, the agenda. I think, we, I think we do too and I, i'm being put in a position where i'm gonna have to start speeding things up a lot like uh because we do have we have a lot of chapters um we just it's not practical to uh so, so everyone should like, everyone should have a comfort zone of like, yes, we are going to have to sometimes do things rapidly. Right. Just do we have a clean copy of this? That's. Well, no, we don't now. You're, you're looking at the only copy. So we will have a clean copy, but it will just be in a few days. And we don't need to re my thought is that we don't need to revisit it now because we have more time to revisit it later and we will have we will need to revisit it later because there will be reconciliation that will need to happen sure. later. So we might as well just save ourselves having to, you know, look at it again in a clean copy when we're going to have to do it again in a few months anyways. Well, so I, I agree with that. And I think I'm, I've always been a little bit confused about the idea of saying we're, we're approving these when we know we're going to still make changes to them. I think we're just saying, this is good for now and we'll come back to it when we have the yeah. full set. Yeah, exactly. We're saying this is good for now, time to move on to the next chapter. Well But if we if we don't if we don't if we don't vote, then like then it leaves Mike in like a, a place of, of ambiguity. So like that's part of it is just reducing the ambiguity for him to work and then for us to come back. I, yeah, I guess I, I, I totally um unclear about what we're voting on, so I will not be able to vote on this. Um, because what I'm still looking at are is a lot of red mark stuff and uh, that has not been stricken out. So uh, that would yeah. lead me to understand that that's included. Well, wait, Mike, will you have a clean copy by next meeting? Can I just, I'd like to, I'd like to just make, make, I'll make the motion to vote this section as complete and move it out of, I'll call it committee and move on to the next section. Next chapter. Can I add to that motion that the questions, things that are questions written in the document, we would consider them addressed as of now and remove them from the quote clean copy. There are questions written throughout kind of in red in places, but not actual text, written text. There are yeah, comments. Yeah. It's, it's implied that Mike will clean that stuff up. I think we all have an understanding of what we're voting on that, that Mike will be cleaning it up before. 
we're voting on some some of the uh, actual the inclusion included sections that will not be included in the final document. For example, I mean the majority of the section on implementation will be stricken. All the time we vote on things like it with it is and part of it is you know we we approve this with Mike's correcting the things we discussed. So am I correct in saying that the majority of the outline of implementation approaches will be stricken? Yes, yes. you are correct. And the only part that will remain is the implementation section. Correct. Mm -hmm. And because we do so have- I move to move this red line document out of, we're done with it, move it on, move on to the next. Okay, so we, we have a motion from Aaron and a second from Marcelo. We're discussing that motion right now. Does anyone else have anything else to say before we vote? I guess the only thing I'll say is I don't feel comfortable voting for a document that is as amended as this is. Um, I'd rather have a clean copy so I know what I'm voting on. Okay, so maybe going forward, we'll that we'll try to adopt like that approach. Um, okay, so those in favor of the motion, or do we have further discussion? One more chance, anyone else? Okay, so those in favor of Aaron's motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay, uh, so that's a six to one, it sounded like. Um, and so we've approved the chapter tentatively, of course, as always, uh, you know, with the changes and amendments that Mike will make. Um, so yeah, Mike, send, send, a, send that around when, when you have the clean copy, when you get to that. And so now we have to move on to the strategies and we only have 30 minutes. Um, we got through most of them, so. believe last time and you guys can correct me where we got to i i see we still have strikeouts in nine and ten did we approve that we were getting rid of ten and striking out nine i can't, I can't remember if we voted on that but i do remember talking about i think john brought it up i think we did talk about energy. striking yeah. ten and the parts of nine yeah i think we seem to be consensus that. around that yeah, yeah I we, think we did to 11 and 12 i think I think it was I, my, my recollection is we were there was consensus around 10 and then we were going to discuss 11 and 12 today. Yep, that was my sense was it was just 11 and 12 that were left, which are the two public 2050 vehicle goals. Um, yeah. And I, I think what we had originally had in the, the previous plan were about five or six different ideas and and so i consolidated them into two um recommendations here one of which is basically taking the, the elements of the previous of, of MEAC's plan and basically grouping them into the reduced vehicle miles traveled initiative um and this initiative is about reducing vehicle miles traveled by incentivizing active mobility like walking and biking as well as using public transit uh this can be helped by continuing financial financial support. Um, Excuse me, Mike. I'm trying to find where you are. Um, you're looking at template energy goals and strategies for the city plan, correct? Yes. And I am only finding under strategies, I'm only finding a very few. There's 12. Yeah, not including, yeah. Well, 12, not including, uh, and then yeah. strike 10. There's 11 now. Yeah, so I'm clearly not on the right tab. No, you're in the right tab. No, no you're on the right tab. That's, we that's, we it, did this consolidating. Okay, well, I, at first I wasn't finding, all right, so the first one should, it should read municipal building efficiency? Yes. All right, okay. I was only get, getting one page. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Okay. 
So this first one was to look at reducing vehicle miles. Um, this initiative is also supported by our dense walkable downtown and public parking lots and structures that reduce cruising and help support a park one shop many policy. Looks like I got a little bit of a run on sentence here and pricing policies in downtown to make alternative transportation options. This is this needs to be fully discussed and identified in the future 2050 net zero plan. So that was the first one, reduce vehicle miles. And the second one is fuel switching. So um, we're trying to help the public meet the 2050 no fossil fuels goal. So reduce vehicle miles and fuel switching were the two big buckets that we could put them in. Um, so there, there's obviously some wordsmithing that kind of has to go on in there. I did have that kind of run on sentence, um, but that's those, that was the ideas. We'll start with that and see what everybody thinks. Um, okay, so just, I'm just gonna hop into making some suggestions and move along. Uh, halfway down the number 11, uh, this initiative also so uh, this initi initiative is also supported by our dense walkable downtown and public parking lots and structures period let's put a period in there uh, this um, the initiative will reduce cruising oh I think structures is what is reducing cruising and help support a park once shop many policy Okay, so um, our our parking lots and structures. Uh, shit. Maybe we should delete structures and let, I, I'm not sure what that means. If maybe we could be a little bit more specific about what structures is that like? Parking garages. Parking, parking garage. garages and sidewalks to and from. Okay. We could What's call it? it parking infrastructure <laughs> or parking lots and oh, parking lots and parking structures. Oh, I get it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, it, let's just do a period and say, uh, and then this will reduce cruising and help support a park once shop mini policy. Uh, and then what's pricing policies? That's like pricing for parking. Yes. Okay. So let's let's do a period there uh, after park once shop mini policy, and say our parking pricing policies how does this it, overlap uh, with the transportation um in hold, let me let me get this to a like workable sentence first our parking right, sure. pricing policies in the downtown will encourage so take out the word park like say put the before downtown and then and then erase the word parking after downtown uh, it still needs to be fully discussed and identified in the future 2050 net zero plan, which is something we just included in the chapter. So that's good. Okay. So now, now what do we have to comments about the, the, uh, strategy here? Isn't this question... all covered in, in the transportation section? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Like, it doesn't seem like there's anything who are different there, you know, I, I know we're going to consolidate them all and, you know, review them together. So it could be that leaving it doesn't do any harm, but um, it seems like it maybe belongs more in the transportation sector, section or that we, we covered this, but I don't, I guess, I, I guess I'm indifferent um, if we're going to bring them together. Um, well, I think the housing subcommittee also wanted to take some things out of housing that were going to be covered by transportation. So I, I think that's fine to do it as we go. I think it's more efficient to do it now if we're going to take it out. Question to Mike is, is there anything included here that's not covered by transportation as of this moment? Um, and it was, the, I, you know, I went through a little bit of that debate in my head when I was looking at consolidating these, that some of this is included in the transportation plan, but um, in my mind, what I was trying to do is look at the accomplishment of our, of our 2050 goal. And they, and when I was 
basically collapsing them, I was finding them in two buckets. So I kept, I kept the ones that were intended on reducing vehicle miles traveled. Um, you know, I, I, if I wanted to play devil's advocate, I would say, you know, does it really matter if we're all in electric vehicles or electric bike, uh, um, you know, for being net zero, you know, be, you know, just being a curmudgeon, just saying, hey, yeah. if you want to be net zero, does the vehicle miles make that much of a difference? That's really a, a transportation issue as opposed to the vehicle fuel switching, which is the predominant way that we would get out of our um, fossil fuels. I, I, I think that's a really good point though. Uh, and I guess that would go towards taking the strategy out because not only is it redundant, but it's not even the main way we're going to achieve the goal. But I think and, me, I and would I disagree think... with you. <laughs> well, I, and I think, I think ultimately, a, a bunch of our other strategies are going to get at that and result in vehicle miles, fewer vehicle miles traveled. So why even bother having the argument of like, oh, if if they're all EVs, you know, are we really is that accomplishing our net zero goals? Like, okay, fine, you can debate that or not. You know, we want to reduce our demand on um electric demand so you're making some accomplishments there but again it's it doesn't does it really matter if we're gonna if all of our other goals are aiming to accomplish that anyhow okay so who's in favor of removing number 11 just give informally just okay barb wants to remove 11 anybody else john obviously uh is there anyone who wants to keep it and wants to speak to keeping it? Uh, removing it makes sense to me. Yeah, I'm fine removing it too, if we feel it's covered. Okay. All right, let's 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 just remove it. We have the new prettier language version if we want to put that in transportation. Pro probably won't be relevant though. Uh, Anyway, all right, so, so we're doing that. Let's go on to uh, vehicle fuel switching initiative. Uh, this predominantly means helping our or requiring residents to purchase electric alternatives to their personal vehicles, but it also can mean biodiesel and larger trucks. This initiative will increase availability of electric, electric charging stations through new zoning regulations, municipal development of public chargers, and education to promote the value of going electric to the public. This still needs to be fully discussed and identified in the future plan. Uh, do we plan to change the zoning regulations to require new places to have electric charging stations? And I actually recall there's a state law related to that, isn't there? Well, again, what I was doing in doing the collapsing is simply going through and taking what MEAC wanted to do and putting it in there. Um, it's all not necessarily things I would agree with, but is uh, what they had included you know, I, I didn't want to go in artificially in between them and you um, take out their Got it. their strategies. So, so with, with changes in technology, like I wonder if that's a smart thing to do. Like we require everyone to do a certain thing, and then technology changes. Yeah, um, and I think I suspect that this uh, still remained in there because. They didn't have knowledge of other chapters where it would show up perhaps more appropriately. So they just wanted to, it's sort of like the placeholder to make sure that this topic is addressed, but not necessarily that it has to be here. Um, I think it's, it really seems to be more appropriate in transportation. Just the part about, just, just the last part though, right? Or do you mean the first part? Like, I'm fine with the first part. Um, I think, yeah, I, I think the whole thing, because it's really about vehicles. Um, and if our focus in the energy chapter here is um, on predominantly on fixed structures, on buildings and, and energy use in, in buildings, that this is more appropriate in a transportation related chapter. Uh, I actually think, I think fuel switching goes to energy more than transportation. Yeah. 
Don't we talk about it in transportation though? I think the whole reason to do it is for the energy goals. But all right, well, don't we have sections in the in the transportation that specifically talks about energy? Or have those been moved out? I'm just saying that it doesn't make sense to me to put them in both locations, that's all. Yeah, and I think what I would point out is just to make sure that, you know, part of the reason we did this effort of having the aspirations, goals, and strategies, you know, and breaking them into three pieces was to make sure that we had some consistency that things would work, you know, in both directions. If we eliminate this second set of strategies, then we have no strategies to implement our goal, which means we would might as well just eliminate our goal if we have no strategies to actually implement them. Yeah, that, that's been on my mind too. Like, it's going to be a big part of the 2050 goal. Shouldn't this be part of the transportation um, plan, however? Well, there's going to be a reference to it. I mean, all these things overlap. I mean, we can't talk about transportation without talking about energy, and we can't talk about um, either of these without talking about land use. So there's a certain amount of conversation that overlaps, but who is responsible for certain pieces of it? Um, you know, I don't expect the Transportation Committee to be working on fuel switching programs. You know, um, the city of Burlington has programs to, that will pay residents of Burlington to buy electric vehicles. Um, I don't think that's a part of their transportation plan. That's a part of their energy plan because the transportation system works equally well, whether you're driving a gas car, whether you're driving an electric car, the transportation system doesn't care. The energy plan does care. But are we sure that we don't have any mention of fuel switching now in the transportation? Plan. Well, at a certain point, we've got to develop the plans and then, you know, get them all done. We haven't approved. All we've done is historic and now energy. So we'll, we'll have to be reviewing transportation when, when we get there. Well, I guess I would just say that in, in most of the discussions at MEAC that um, I took part of, we were talking not about vehicles, uh, but much more about um, buildings and, and uh, municipal operations. So if we want to add this in, are we certain that we have a um, aspiration to match it? We do. The tw it's, it's actually quite a f essential to the 2050 goal of getting our, uh, you know, getting the residents of to net zero. People, people can't have gasoline cars. Well, the, yeah, uh, that was not my interpretation of what the original um, goals and strategies were for energy, but uh, we could certainly adapt them. Because it's not, I mean, we have a lot to handle with just the buildings and given the fact that we have two different uh, time frames to deal with as well, that then adding in the vehicles makes uh, one more level of complication in an already complicated chapter and I don't know frankly I don't know who's really addressing that uh, inside of MEAC maybe there is someone but I think they're more focused on other areas well you'll note that I put this as a low priority and the reason for that is simply because I don't think this is something that you know, if we were talking about all of the things that we have to work on, um, the fuel switching initiative is one that I would personally, if I was making a recommendation to me or to the city that I would be saying, I'm not going to put a lot of effort and money into this right now, because I would rather see whether the market takes care of it for us. And we'll know that as time goes on, if by 2030, most major auto manufacturers are only making electric vehicles, then then we don't need to be spending a ton of our, our limited funds on helping people switch vehicle fuel. You know, we could spend that money helping residents switch their um, switch their homes. So that's why I put it as a low priority compared to the others. 
So does anyone else have interest in um, leaving 12 to the transportation chapter? The caveat there would be, we, if we take this out, we have to take goal eight out and we also have to amend the aspiration again. Okay, so not hearing anybody wanting anybody else wanting to take it out. Uh, so we only have a few minutes left. So this is, uh, we had tabled our discussion about the creating a uh, energy coordinator for municipal buildings, making a strategy out of that. Do we still have interest in discussing that? Mike, has that not be, uh, been identified um, numerous times? In, um, in budget talks for the city? It, it has, but it wasn't in, it didn't fit into the implement, in, implementation strategy simply because of how it's, how it's structured. Um, you'll notice I did in my version of um, the implementation strategy, I did have a conversation of adding that position because it is one that's come up. And I think as I, you know, I'll, re I'll say it again because I've said it a bunch of times. Um, you know, I think that the aspirations and goals that are here in the energy plan are very transformative and very bold. And it's one of the only chapters in the plan that has nobody working for it. Um, and so I've always said, and I've said it in the, the, the council meetings, and I've said it at MEAC that, you know, you're, you're never going to be able to meet these bold goals without having somebody on the staff who is there to work on it. You know, we have a full-time person who works on housing. and We have a full-time person that works on, we have many full-time people that work on transportation. Um, but I think it's always going to be an issue when we start talking about trying to create programs to help people transition their fuel heating sources. Um, you know, we can't have a pilot program if we don't have anybody to run that pilot program. So, um, can we put a energy coordinator question mark? Uh, uh, what is this? You are suggesting that is the strategy, and so if 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 we're if we're serious about this, I think one question is which of the goals are we falling under here? Is it goal two, which has to do with municipal buildings, or is it going to be goal two and uh, and and goal seven, which is which is net zero for new residential and commercial buildings? And I think ultimately it'll come Both down goals. to to most of the to the goals, um, the way it had been envisioned in the past was that we needed a facilities manager. So that's one thing that's lacking. So we're always talking about, boy, couldn't we do something to make our buildings more energy efficient? But we don't have a facilities director in the city. So there's nobody who does the job. Um, it's, it's a huge oversight that we don't have somebody who's dedicated to doing that. Um, and we also pointed out that when we wanna start doing outreach to the public that an energy coordinator, um, that same person who is our facilities director could also fill the role of the energy coordinator. So that's why you'll hear them used together is because the facilities director is really supposed to be helping us go through the energy audits and uh, identifying projects to get done, hiring somebody to do the work if, that, if that's appropriate, um, and advancing these uh, efforts to get our building to be more energy efficient or net zero. And, and so that's why it's always been this facilities director slash energy coordinator. It's kind of a combined position. There's actually a third piece of that that's not related to energy that the, this facilities director would also be responsible for the, the parking um, because there isn't anybody who oversees the, the management of parking. So it's uh, another thing that we were going to hand to the facilities director. It's kind of related to facilities, but it's different. Um, so, so we could phrase, we could phrase a strategy, just getting into the practicalities based on what Mike's saying, we could phrase a strategy that says a city position that is responsible for. So it doesn't mean that they just do that. 
Um, my question though is, um, does it, does everyone support including that strategy or how many people support? Steve that Twombly did do that, uh, as part of his position before, correct? Mike? Yeah, he does some of the, some of those things, but not all of them. Okay. Yeah. And he's only part-time and he's doing it part-time and he's going to be retiring. So. Ah. I'm pretty sure he's retiring at some point. <laughs> a couple of years. I think they're doing a re audit and then he's going to retire or something. Mm. So it seems like it's an important element to include. Um, and if we put it into the plan, it has a better chance of actually happening. Um, and it's been talked about for so long and just hasn't happened. And I take your point, Mike, that this is the committee that has no, has a huge mandate, but it has no staff support in terms of the energy committee. I'm, I'm personally fine with doing it, but we need to get some, we got six minutes left. We need to get some words down so that we can hopefully pass this out so that we don't have to pick these strategies up again next time, but we can get other work done. Didn't we have, do we have some wording on this before, Mike? No, no, no not we as didn't. A, not as a strategy. I'm, uh, we could, I like, you could say, uh, identify and fund positions in city government to oversee energy coordination. Uh, that sounds sufficiently general and, and to support MEAC. I mean, would that person would be the staff coordinator to the energy committee as well? I don't know if they'd need to be. I don't it know would certainly help. That, that specific, but. I assume you're typing something, Kirby. <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? No, oh, not until I... you hit return. Uh. To energy coordination, um, eh, having to do with the buildings, meeting our net zero goals. Um, yeah, well, we can add that in the following sentence. Um, what about the implementation of this energy plan? Yeah. That would be great to implement dedicated to implementation of the energy plan and support of MEAC. Sounds good. S simple. And uh, would be would tie it to goal two and goal seven, I believe. Those are both having to do with buildings. Okay. Uh, is everyone okay with that? Sounds good. Anyone against this strategy? I, I, one reason why I like it is that we, we cut out some stuff that's relating to goal seven. So this adds something back in. We, we are talking at first about this person just being, being for municipal. Is that correct? We, we are... 
There's some static. Uh, no, it's for both. Okay. Well, that's even better. I don't know who's responsible for it. You mean what department? Yeah, we have DPW for all of these. Is this is as deep? Is this DPW or is this something else? Seems like it should be. What do you say, Mike? I uh, it could be either one. It could be a, a DPW. I don't think they would necessarily oppose doing it. Just need some staff. Gets to the question of who's the staff doing all this. If if we had a facilities manager, would they work for DPW? They would probably be a separate department head. But until that position is created, it's DPW. So, can we just say city council then, since they'll have to? Yeah, you create can say city this? council. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that, and uh, let's get let's get this voted on, and then in the meeting, um, is everyone comfortable passing the strategies as they are now? Uh, mm -hmm. and I, I think I think with the caveat. If we if we have a motion to pass this with the caveat that Mike will further change number thirteen here to match the format of the others. If that if that makes sense to everyone. I move to pass to okay, let everyone confirm these strategies, noting the strikeouts and with the understanding that number 13 may mm, change a little bit in format. Okay, great, great. Um, and then we'll leave us for clarity with 11 strategies. Correct. Sure. Okay, do, do the second. Second. Second by Aaron. Uh, do we have a any more discussion before we vote? Okay, those in favor of passing the energy strategies, say aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? Okay, strategies are done. Move to adjourn. Oh, we have a, we have a, okay. We have a motion to adjourn, do we have a second? <laughs> second. We have a second from Stephanie. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. Bye. Bye. Just, just like that, we're done. Okay. See everybody in two weeks. Thanks. Have a good night, everybody. See you guys.